Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Swaraj and in today's video we will discuss about the code step problem infinity staircase. The problem code for this question is INF, IN, ITY. Let us have a look at the problem statement. So in the problem statement we have said that you are climbing an infinite staircase which is uh, has infinite number of steps. You are currently standing at the first step and you, li uh, you would like to reach the nth step. When standing at the i step you can make one of the following three moves move to i plus 1, move to the step i plus 2 or move to the step i plus 3. However, you cannot make the same move twice in a row. For example, suppose you reach the 7th step from the 4th step using the 3rd move, then from 7th step you can uh, move either to the 8th step or the 9th step but not to the 10th step because in the previous move we had already made the i plus 3 move. Now under this condition, find the minimum number of moves you need to reach to the nth step. Now let us have a look at the input format. In the input format we have said that the first line of input will contain a single integer t denoting the number of test cases. Then for each test case we will denote uh, it will contain one single integer n which will denote the step we have to reach starting from the first step. Now for output for each test case print on a uh, new line the minimum number of moves required to reach the nth step. Now let us have a look at the sample input and output. So in the sample input and output in the first test case as we see our n equals to 2 here and initially we are starting from uh, initially we are starting from the first uh, first test case uh, sorry first step now in order to move from 1 to 2 we can uh, move it by uh, using one single step that is using the first move that is i plus 1 now the total number of moves equals to 1 so as you see it matches the sample output of the first test case now let us have a look at the second test case so in the second test case n equals to 3 now to move from 1 to 3 so we can uh, make this jump by using i plus 2 that is also using one step only so as in the second test case as you see the our calculated answer is 1 and the given our, our output is 1 now let us have a look at the last, fifth test case here here our n equals to 7 and we have to move from 1 to 7. So we can do this by going from 1 to 4 by using the, the third move that is i plus 3 then again moving again moving from 4 to 4 to 5 that is using first one. Now again going from 5 to 7 that is using 2. So we can do this using three moves. So as we see our calculated answer matches the sample output. Now let us have a look at the approach. Suppose we have to uh, reach the nth step and we are starting from the first step. And the uh, jumps we can make are i plus 1, i plus 2 and i plus 3. We cannot have two consecutive same jumps. Two consecutive jumps can't be the same. This is our condition. So let us say we have to reach from 1 to 2. That is, then uh, in how many steps we can reach? We can reach this by one step. If we want to reach from 1 to 3, we can reach it by one step again. One move that is. Again, we have to move from 1 to 4. We can also do it by 1 step. Now, if you want to move from 1 to 5, then we have to do it using 2 steps. And 1 to 6, this is using 2 steps. Again, 2 steps again. So, this is using 3 plus 1 and this is using 3 plus 2. This is using 3 plus 2. So as we see, maximum jump that we can make using one move, maximum jump we can make, we can make using one move that is equals to in one step that is will be i plus 3 that is up to 3 positions. Maximum jump max jump in two moves 
in two moves that will be that is up to five places that is going from i to i plus five using the uh, jump three and plus two so we can say that we can go to the nearest we can find our answer by let us say answer denotes our total jumps total jumps so our ams equals to will be n by 5 into 2 because in one move we can uh, in, uh, using two moves we can maximum jump up to 5 places so it will be n by 5 into 2 that is because our two jumps are associated uh, when we move to the 5 places now we can simply uh, to n mod equals to 5 that is the, uh, after making after going to the nearest fifth place nearest after going to the nearest multiple of 5 we have to choose among these two that is using this if else statement that is if n equals to 1 if after performing, uh, performing this if n equals equals to 1 then we have to then simply we have to do ans plus plus if n equals equals to 2 again we will do ans plus plus if equals to 3 we will do ans plus plus if it is equals to 4 if it is equals to 4 then we have to do ans ans plus equals to 2 if it is equals to 5 then again we have to do ans plus equals to 2 so at last we will just print the ans so now let us write the C++ code so in the C++ code as we see in line number 6 we are taking input for number of test cases then for each test case we are taking input for n now as we are starting from first step so we are doing n minus minus now here in line number 11 as we see our answer equals to n by 5 into 2 because we are reaching to the nearest multiple of 5 and uh, 5 and uh, 5 is because we can maximum the maximum uh, jump we can make using 2 moves 5 is the maximum jump we can make using 2 moves and line number 12 we are doing n mod equals to 5 because we have reached to the nearest multiple of 5 and after that if n equals equals to 4 then we will simply add 2 if n if n is not equal to 0 then for rest cases we are simply incrementing ans by 1 and at last we will just print ans so now let us have a look at the c++ code uh, at the python code now in the python code in line number 1 we are taking input for number of test cases then for each test case we are taking input for n and we are subtracting n by 1 that is because we are starting from 1 uh, from the first step now in line number 3 our ans equals to 2 into n by by 5 that is we are reaching to the nearest multiple of 5 and we are taking mod of n by 5 now if n equals to 4 then we will simply in, uh, increment ans by 2 else if n is not equal to 0 then we will simply in, uh, increment ans by 1 and at last we will just print the ans so that's it for this video